Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video on the Audi S1 Quattro. In this video we're going to be working on trying to fix the oil leak that it currently has. So if you haven't seen any of the videos there is a playlist on this car. Go back and watch that first guys so you can catch up to where we are at now at the moment. But uh, it's coming along lovely. I'm still waiting for a few parts for the car. Uh, and they are on order and as soon as I start having a few bits we can start putting it all back together but I'll just currently show you the oil leak that I'm talking about as you can see it's leaking from the sump so I believe this was leaking way before it had an accident this car is a category N crash damaged car like I said if you haven't seen it already go back and watch that first but I honestly believe that sump is not broken and it just needs resealing. So that's what I've gone and done. Uh, I went down to my Volkswagen dealer and they managed to order some gaskets and sealant and stuff. So I, I don't even know what I've put on. Ooh, where the hell have I put them? This garage is deadly, guys. Okay, believe it or not, it's about a week later. It's taken me almost a week to find these parts. Fried my brain. Because I had the receipt and I just didn't know where I'd put them. In the end, they were in amongst something else. So, these are the parts I'm on about. Now, I wanted to go for the cheaper option first. And that was to replace the gaskets and sealant and then if it still leaks then obviously i'll replace the sump the way i say cheapest these are genuine parts i've some things you can buy cheap buy twice i i believe some things are just no good buying aftermarket parts when it comes to gaskets and seals and things like that sometimes it's best to buy the genuine things so this is a genuine uh sump seal sealant or sump gasket also I got should be oh yes the o-rings might be for the sensor on the bottom so needed them and the actual proper uh, sealant silicone sealant for the uh, for the oil pan so all this clear enough come to 70 quid guys absolutely ridiculous in price but when I priced the sump plastic sump with it it comes to 270 quid so You've got to do the maths in it. You've got to do what's cheap, cheaper option first. Now, I could go for aftermarket sump. I could go for aftermarket gaskets and things. But then it's a chance it could leak. And I just didn't want to take a risk with something like this. This car needs uh, the proper bits. The only thing with it now is I'm going to be dropping the oil. Dropping the oil pan. I'll check the pickup, the oil pickup. Make sure it's all fine. But I'll re reseal it. I'm going to leave it 24 hours and that will give me time then to buy the oil. I've ordered the oil now and I'm picking it up tomorrow. That takes um, special oil. They say it's dealer only but I managed to get something very similar to it. It's the Castrol brand, Long Life. So it, it is the proper oil for the car and it'll do, it's not the cheap stuff. Normally I just chuck any oil in them at the end of the day. But the car, like I said, is a high performance car and Audi recommends certain oil. So I put the recommended oil for the car but I've got to pick it up tomorrow. So I can't put the oil in it, which will give me time to let that gasket go off, the sealant go off and everything else. In the meantime, now we can crack on with that. Let's get into it. Let's jack this car up and get underneath and actually see uh, where it's leaking from.
now you can see uh, in the last episode I replaced all the suspension uh, but 100% see now how close our wheel is to that strut so that hub is definitely bent trying to find a hub is absolutely ridiculous it's an absolute mission trying to find parts for this car we've got to bend this back out as well so we can fit the water bottle and repair these wires that's all coming in the next uh, couple of episodes everything looks fine on top like I said I have bought a pile of um, service items so we can change the oil oil filter, fuel filter, pollen filter, air filter to give it a good service and we know it's right then ready for the next owner so we're just going to try and carry on now like I said it's jacked up as you can see there's a puddle on the floor quite a lot of um, there's quite a, a lot of oil in this I think it's 5.8 litres of oil so as you can see it's leaking quite badly but I think it's only leaking from the bolts and hopefully that is just the gasket it's gone and not the sump itself there's no damage around there so I can't see why it would be leaking or damaged this wasn't involved in the dam in the accident so this is this, right this is gonna be really awkward to film this bit so I'm just gonna drop the oil this minute that's actually water we've got a water leak as well then have we I think we'll have to dive a little bit deeper into this. I think the best bet is to have it running and see. What do you reckon? See if there's any water leaking from it. Let's try that first. We've got to have it running to warm up the oil anyway. So the battery's uh, unplugged. So. Just bear with me, just want to plug this back in. Have we got power now? So let's get this car started Hundred percent. This has got an oil leak and a water leak. Now, when it got delivered, it was very low on water and it was very low on oil. Not to the extent that it was really dangerous, but it was very low on oil, but not. It was on the low, on on the minimum on the dipstick. But I just put a light on. Come under here, and then I'll show you. Look there, guys water and then oil there so it's leaking from this corner oil from up there coolant so it's either the thermostat or something is leaking from up there can't really see with all these pipes in a way but if we can fix the oil leak that's a start but then we'll have to delve a bit deeper into where it's leaking from there uh, from up there somewhere and then it's running down see that it's running down there then that's not good when you buy these cars so my plan is the bumper's got to come off anyway because that's knackered that side so i'll take the bumper off i would probably take the old slam panel off disconnect all the hoses so we can have a good look at the front of the engine and we probably chase where that leak is coming from then like i said i want the car to be 100 percent and to do that you gotta make sure everything is tidy on there You can't really see it from here, you can't see nothing. It's 
So I don't know, like I said, investigate now where that's coming from. Yeah, I should be warm enough. And I don't want to die of fumes. Let's get the uh, drain the oil. Let's drain the oil first. I don't know if you can see that. But that's draining now. It's with a stupid bung they use. It's like um, a screwdriver I had to use to undo it. But, uh, Silly really, because if you cross red that or damage the end, you won't be able to get that out. That oil is quite dirty, look how dirty that oil is. I haven't been changed in a while. So this is well overdue a good service. I would say the trouble is you don't know how well these cars have been looked after. This is probably been thrashed. I'm just gonna leave that, carry on now. Let me undo the cap at the top, it might drain out a bit faster. There's no milkiness inside anyway, so that's good. I should go down a bit faster, yeah. Okay, I'll get back to you once that's finished doing this sure. thing. Oh, it's pretty monkey, guys. Oh, not the best, is there? It's quite a lot in there as well, actually. So that's a good thing. We're gonna... I'm going to start undoing these bolts, it's a shame, I can't really see anything. I've undone the, uh, the oil, I, I'm assuming it's an oil sensor. I'm going to undo all the bolts, I'll start undoing them and hopefully it'll come down without any issues. There's one bolt, that's bloody stuck in there a minute. Everyone else has come out, but some of these, as you can see, really rusty. So I might have, I might, uh, I think they were like, when I priced them in Volkswagen, they were like a pound each. But uh, some of these, I'll go through them now and have a look and replace the ones that's really bad. So it's not good. It's the last thing, see, that one there. Uh, but we'll have a look through them. I'll try and get this one out. I've just been on the phone to Volkswagen and ordered um, some more samples, around about 10 of them. Because these, some of these are shocking. See that? Can't put them back in, guys. And some are pretty decent, so obviously, where the weather's got to them. So some are okay. And as it happens, uh, as it happens all the time, there is one stuck in there. And it will not come out. So I gotta try and figure out a way of getting that out of there. So I'm just gonna have a little potch now. It's not point me trying to film everything just to try and get that out of there, but that's it's the access more than anything. And you can't really slam anything on it because it's a plastic sump. So it's not good. But I, I'll see what I can do. That was absolute bloody hard work, guys. I tried everything. Using the amount of tools I've got here. I tried everything to undo that. And what I did in the end, like you do with an alloy wheel, is tap that over there gently and it's finally gripped it and took it out. Ah, oh, what a relief! Absolute relief! I cut it. I'll see if I can get the bolt out for you now so you can actually see it. Oh, my God. that was. That's the thing with stuff, I guess. You've got to think of things. Sometimes it takes time. But it came out in the end. Safe to say that I won't be going back in. Like I said, I've ordered 10 new ones. Let's see if I can get that out for you guys. Hang on a minute. I just uh, hammered it out. I cut that to see if I can do it with a screwdriver. No chance. Wouldn't have none of it, guys. But, whew. Finally. Ah, oh, right, every bolt is undone. I just gotta 
try and tap that off now. Uh, I think I better put a bit of cardboard or something underneath now to catch all the oil. Right, hang on a minute. Just show you this quick. Everything looks fine underneath. So I'll just clean around the outside edges. Don't want to drop my phone in the sump now, for God's sake. So as you can see, it doesn't look like it did actually come with the sealant. But the Volkswagen dealer said it's supposed to have sealant as well. So it doesn't look like there's any on this. You can see that. So it's not a problem. I'll uh, I'll just put some on anyway. I want it to add a little bit more. There's a little bit of condensation in the bottom there. It looks like but on this corner here is where it failed. Looks like it might have failed in this corner as well. And uh, we we'll clean this up. Put a new seal on it and get it up there with the bolts I have, except the damaged ones, and then we can I'll fit the new ones in as well just for added security once they come tomorrow. There's no metal bits or anything in there, so that's good. That's all done. I just gotta put some sealant around there. I'm just gonna clean underneath the sump now. Just make sure that's all clean and then we can refit. So all I've done is gone around the outside edge, very likely, just to give it a bit of extra protection. It's not pretty, but I mean it's very light. It's, you, it's not going to be hardly any difference, but at least hopefully now it should seal up and not leak. Sump is underneath now, all uh, done up as best I can for now. It's like every other, it's missing about 10 bolts which I've ordered because I can't put these back in. I state them so and it'll give it time to go off. So these are no good. Like one pound odd each has come to like 12 pound odd for the vat just for a few bolts, but they are needed. These things are needed, so I'll cut back in tomorrow when I have the oil filter so we can change that and we'll have the bolts, we can put all the bolts in and we'll top it up with oil then. And hopefully, we'll be right today. It's the next day now, and we finally had the bits I was waiting for. I've received or went and got uh, the recommended oil for the car, it is long life. 530 oil and it is rec recommended for uh, Volkswagen and Audis so we've got the sump bolts to replace the ones that were damaged and rusted as you can see 
these. There's no way you can put them back in the car. I'm not replacing them all because most of them look like this. But you're going to do a job, you do it properly. We've got a. Now you can really see that leak, can't you? That, that water leak is really bad. So. What we'll do is we'll put the sump bolts back in because they are only hand tight, the ones I put in, just to hold it in place with the seal. So they will need to be topped up to 8 newton meters plus 90 degrees on the plastic sump. So we'll do that. I've got the plastic joins for the water washers, for the, the windscreen wipers and things, for the jets. Uh, I've got fuel filter, oil filter. Uh, air filter and carbon filter. I've also got a pack of six blue rolls from my local Trago store. I think it's nine quid. Bargain. Because I'm always looking for blue roll. We've also got to change that oil filter. It says on it 25 and a half newton meters. So we can take that off. Change it. T talk it down to the right specifications and then put the oil in run it up and hopefully check to see if it's not leaking fingers crossed we really do need to look where that water leaks coming from it's quite nasty if you can see obviously i've just showed you on the floor there you can see that that's quite a nasty water leak there guys isn't it so we need to try and track down where that's coming from might be a pipe could be the front thermostat so we need to ideally take this front bumper off have a good look at that as well but that'll come in the next episode like i said this is all about replacing our oil seal okay let's carry on that's uh on eight newton meters ready i'm just gonna put these bolts under and hope for the best just want to show you that's all done up now Talked up to the right specifications, 8 newton meters plus 90 degrees. So that's all in. The only thing's left now, I'm just hoping that that sump isn't damaged. I can't see it being damaged. It's, it's just leaking from that side, and that was nowhere near where the damage was. I think it's just something that was been leaking for a while. So the next thing, so the next thing now. is to change this oil filter. Chuck some blue roll around that because the last thing I wanted to do is spill all over the place. Five newton meters. Okay, the oil is next. Ah, oh, here we go. I hope this doesn't leak. I am going ballistic, obviously, because the car is not level. Okay, like I said, the car is not exactly level, so it's not giving an accurate reading on our dipstick. But I have filled it, I've put just under five in there, so that should be right now. 
anyway thereabouts time to circulate around the engine and everything else so i think we'll go for a start up guys fingers crossed Okay, she's ticking over lovely now. I just gotta make sure, keep an eye on, it's no leak, so I'm gonna get it up to temperature and see if we can spot where the uh, water leak's coming from. But guys, I'm gonna end it there now for this video. I've just shut the door on my bloody finger. That's hurting. Uh, and we'll go from there. Tracking down some of these parts is an absolute mission for this car. But there we are getting there slowly. So as soon as the parts come, I'm going to start putting it all on. So in the next uh, video, I'll be tackling that windscreen washer bottle and the wiring. So I will see you all in the next one. Don't forget guys, to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't and click that notification bell. I, I'm on Instagram as well, reviving underscore salvage. Click on there. Have a little creep around and you'll see that I upload things daily of what I get up to and sneak peeks of what's to come. So, like I said, thank you all for watching. Thank you all for your support and kind comments. I am trying to get back to all your comments slowly. There's so many now that it's very difficult to keep up. But keep on commenting and I will get back to you. Thank you all and I'll see you in the next one, guys. Stay out of cue to figure out why you would be mad at me